Hey traders, this is Palmer from Bank the Trade. It's November 11th, 2021, and uh, AJ's plays and awesome calls, as usual, are just giving it up. If you want to get an education on the news that moves stocks, you got to get in here, okay? Because you're not going to get this information anywhere else about how to trade the news and the range and the gap ups and the gap downs correctly. All right, get in here, stop screwing around, and actually learn something. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm a moderator in here. I've been with the, the room uh, six or seven years or so. And it's if you want large caps, small caps, options, swings, um, trading the indices with dark side, it's in this room. Okay, find your style, learn the news, trade the news. Okay, it's all here. This is me, this is my profile on Twitter, and I have a website called Bank the Trade. I have some information on a video course about how I trade and the setups that I look for. I'm not going to throw it in your face. It's there if you want to check it out. What I want to do is go over a couple of the plays. Uh, the Zillow fade, and I went fishing on my own, which I do quite often, but all the tweets, the tickers in my feed are the tickers that I trade. Okay. But I want to go over the uh, Zillow trade first. AJ had this as massive disappointment in all areas. And if you read the headlines, if you read the details, it wasn't too good. The stock was da gapping down 14 points. Um, AJ is looking not to go long unless it pops 74.50 uh, to look for a four to six point push to the upside. Look for topping. If it snaps 70.50 at the open, Look for a sell-off of five to seven points on it. Okay, so the way I played this, now everything is, what's your account size? Okay, what are your risks? How much can you afford to let a stock move if it's going to go against you? Okay, I'm not going to talk about what my account size is, what your account size is. That's not what I do. I don't care. Okay, you don't have to trade 250 shares. You don't have to trade 500 shares total. You can trade 10 shares. Okay. You have to be comfortable. You can't choke yourself out of the trade. You got to give the trade room to work. Okay. So 74.50 is this area right here. Okay. This is the area that AJ is looking to break. It pops up there, gets rejected, starts to fade. So I take a 250 share position. Looking, I don't have it marked on here. Uh, this support area to break, and it comes back against me uh, about two points or so. So I'm down five hundred dollars. All right, but I know what I can have to move against me. Okay, I know how this play is going to work out. All right, how the end result should look like. So it comes up to seventy four fifty, and it gets rejected. What? gets rejected again. We start to get the fade in here, start to get some selling in here, so I add to my position another 250 shares. So I'm short at about 72.50 or 40 or so. I can't do the math quick. All right, 500 shares. Terrible news. We get nothing but selling, 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 selling. All right. AJ is looking for the 70. 50 area to break, I believe, on the open, okay, but I'm seeing selling coming in here, all right, know the theme of things, AJ's looking for this area to break to give us more to the downside, all right, we break that, and you had two points right there, fabulous, your day's over if you waited for this break and this support line to break, and this is it, this is all you needed to do for the entire day, okay, I took it short up here. I got in about two points and chains. I started, I saw this support area here, which I came into here. And the way I trade and the way I look for things, I'm looking for some kind of return. 
all right, on this move down here, all right, I have to be done with my day in about an hour or so is the most I can give, all right, because of my schedule, because of what my responsibilities are. But with this room, you can do that. You can be done. But it's not a race to see who can be done first or who can post their profits first in the room or on Twitter. That's exactly what this room is not about. The room is about being done for the day, either before the bell with Janny or within 30 minutes or an hour with AJ, and that's it. Okay, but it's not a race. Okay, recognizing these entries takes time, understanding the news, and position sizing correctly. Okay, two points in here, $1,000, $1,100 in about 30 minutes, I'm out. Okay, it faded all day. Now this transition area, my course, what I go over, and these blue boxes right here, and these arrows right here, I posted it on Twitter, I kept them on here. These are the trend re-entry areas. If you're looking for an established entry to get back in, and an established downtrend, we wait for a momentum return to the upside, and we look to get back in in these areas. That's what these areas are for. We have a transition area here, meaning our momentum is changing, but this is just maybe some buying down here. That's a lot of volume and some short covering, because this was down at this point about 220 or, excuse me, about 12, 15 points or so. All right, so people might be trying to take a piece to go along. Some people did. This was their whole trade. We just ended up fading back down for the entire day. All right. Beautiful re-entries to the downside. Again, I have to be done. $1,100, 30 minutes, that's my day. Okay. The other trade I want to talk about is something I took on my feet. This CDLX that nobody was talking about. Okay. I had it in my feed because it was gapping up on the earnings. And if you were in the room today, and thank you everybody for not posting while AJ was going over this, but he was talking about race in the room. And this was the same type of play. Okay. Look at the news releases. Look at the numbers. Look at the gap. Okay. So in my mind, the move up did not justify the numbers. Okay, it's very similar to what AJ was talking about with race. Why wasn't this on AJ's list? AJ looks for several things. Price, range, gap, volume, chart, and news. Okay, this had everything except volume. Okay, it was very thin. And per the plays on his list, there were, trying to find the right word, uh, better plays or maybe cleaner plays because a lot, all the plays this morning have volume. Okay, so if there's a low volume gapper versus a high volume gapper, I would rather trade the one that has higher volume because that's going to give us better fills, tighter spreads, uh, more, you know, cleaner movement. And I mentioned this in my feet, but this was gapping up. It was up 15% on numbers that in my opinion, did not justify this move. Okay, now it's a lower volume stock, so the spreads are not going to be the greatest. And I'm sorry, sorry about all those noises. Those are news alarms going off for certain events. But um, so how did I play this? And again, it's like how or like AJ was talking about race in the room. Same mentality, same logic. Okay, so. This was gapping up thin. It was gapping up 10 points, all right? Looking at the chart, I was seeing where this could go based on the volume and the spread and all that sort of thing. So I took a starter on the open, even though we had, you know, for this stock, 25,000 shares at the open is okay based on the previous history. More buying here, then it just falls off, okay? 50 share starter. Okay, why only 50 shares? Again, the spread, the low volume can cause price movement like this, 90 to 90, almost four points in one minute. Okay, so again, 50 shares, and it, you know, went against me four points. Okay, but 50 shares, four points, I'm down about $200. All right, but again, 
per the numbers, because of what AJ was talking about with race, I know, in my opinion, where this stock should go and where it should end up. Okay, so then we start to add come into the fade. All right, we're there. We're topped out. I had 150 shares, so now I'm short 200 shares at 92.60 something. Okay, and the way this is moving, it's a slow grind, and I am banking on Zillow. Okay, so I can be conservative on this. I'm wanting this to fade back to, you know, below 86 or something, just because of the numbers. Uh, made it there, but price action. You see this right here. See, this is thin. See how thin this is? And you're going to get this on a low volume stock, but when the spreads are terrible, you're going to get this erratic price movement. All right, so... I wanted a couple more points on this, but again, this is about the time I have to be done for the day. Sometimes I have more time, sometimes I don't. I'm banking on Zillow. I'm going to scam a point out of this or a point or almost a point. Again, the spread, terrible. So I get out. $200 here. But the whole reason this, this, is, this is fishing, okay? Why I got into the stock, why I chose to trade it is because this is part of the education that AJ gives you in the room. All right, the plays like this. Now, had I held on to this, I had eight points on this. Or seven points. I can't do math. Seven or eight points on this short. Okay, that's where it ended up. But you have to get through all this crap. And it does this because it's a lower volume stock. Spreads are going to be terrible. Volume, you know, nice break right here, but I'm done. Okay, but again... Remember what AJ said about race. This is why this stock is here. This is why I traded it. Why it wasn't on his list? There were better volume movers out there. Okay. There were a lot better plays out there. A lot cleaner setups. All right. But this is over time. You got to spend the time being a news hound. You got to look into the numbers. You got to do the research. And just because the bell rings and the day's over doesn't mean your brain needs to shut off. Okay. If it's crappy weather on the weekend, go to the blog. And I tell this to everybody that he emails me about the room. Go to the blog, awesomecallstrading.com. There are about 100 days of plays in here. There's nothing to sign up for. There's no email registration needed. Pull up the tickers, go to your news feed, look at the chart, study, see how they moved. All right? Check it out. This is going to cost you nothing. All right? If you really want to learn, if you want to get that foundation, get into this room, soak it in, give it time, buy your notepads, because you're going to read them, adhere by the rules in the room also, okay? Don't bring in tickers that you see on Twitter that have a 20 cent range that somebody's pumping. You're not going to have a good uh, answer giving to you if you bring that into the room, all right? Keep your tickers in line with what's on the list. All right, if something is running, it's got news, moderators are gonna post it, all right? Let them do this work. Every once in a while, there's something that comes in the room that will trade and the AJ will be on, okay? But if your stock has 10 cent range, or it's a $100 stock and it's moved 30 cents, nope, this room is about the range, okay? Because we want to trade that range. So. Adhere to the rules, listen to what's going on, put the study time in, build your foundation, okay? It's not going to happen in a day, it's not going to happen in a week, it's not going to happen in a month, because there's a lot of information, especially in earnings season. Earnings season is, it's Christmas, okay? Every day in this room is Christmas, but when it's earnings season, we've got it nailed, all right? You guys trade smart, be smart. We'll see you tomorrow.